Hello everyone, so in this video we will talk about show and hide tabs and fields based on drop down selection of granite widgets in IAM. So you must be thinking why I clearly mentioned granite because from AM 6.1 to 6.4 first granite widgets have been introduced and in the later versions coral widgets has been introduced. So uh, some people are using granite, some people are using corals. So personally I, I don't see any of the difference while making dialogues but the people use as per their requirement and obviously there are some requirements that makes the two things different so in this blog we will talk about two situations so uh, one situation is show and hide tabs based on drop down selection and another is show and hide fields based on drop down selection so let's take an example so i have already created one component so in this component you can see there are two options image and video and there are two tabs one is image and one is video now my requirement is if i choose image only image tab should be visible and if i choose video the video tab should be visible so how to do it we will go through step by step how we can achieve it so first uh, make a drop down field which i have already created and make first and second second and third tab as per my requirement okay done now the drop down must have these properties so let's add these properties frankly you can do it blindly no problem <laughs> because there is already a uh, jails available which is taking care of everything so no need to go in detail if you are really implementing and if you want to know you can go through the javascript okay now the next property i will add target property now important to note here so i'm adding one value here which is this so this can be anything so this uh, this can be as per your requirement so right now i'm hiding and showing image and video so maybe i can use image hyphen video but you need to tell what you are doing Okay, the next step, the step three is the value property of options is very important, obviously, and the value of the property is right now what I'm using image and video. So fourth step, now to open tab two on the selection of image, we need to add layout config. So create a node layout config of type NT colon unstructured. Okay, now add one property class and the value must be this this is important and please check it here see so here this is list drop down so I, in the example i have given list drop down so which i changed here as image hyphen video the same thing i used in the upper part so uh, if you recall here i used image video tab show height target so same thing I used here, hide, tab, video, tab, show, hide, target and what to target image. So on the basis of this image, I will show this. So I will add the value of this image. If I put image one here, then obviously I need to put image one. Okay, now copy and paste the same tab, the same uh, node here and what I need to change, nothing, just video that's all i need to do in the component next part is because this is not an out of the box functionality and uh, there is a js available which i got from internet so i need to add that js somewhere here cu colon client library folder maybe some client lips so I will add one JS file here, js.txt, once is this, the other is show hide tab dot JS. So see I already added it here and make an entry of this here. The version in which I am demonstrating is the AM 6.4. So somehow if I am using the, so in the here I have mentioned create a client lib CQ authoring dialog. So if you are already aware about CQ authoring dialog, it just gets called in all the places. But somehow in AM 6.4 it is not getting called. So I am calling this JS in another way. So I am adding one categories and maybe I am adding show hide tab dot client lib. I am making a categories here with a custom name multi add okay now 
written with written whichever dialog i want to load this js i need to add one property extra client lips and i can add this custom name so to this it will get loaded only on this dialog so if if you have one more dialog maybe x dialog and you are using this feature so you you don't need to again create this client lib we just make a central location put this client lib and one go and you can just do extra client lips in em6.2 and 6.3 cq authoring dialog perfectly work so you can use cq authoring dialog so now you can see if i choose image if i choose video video so i think this is a thing which we need to use in our daily to daily life so this is how it works i hope you like the video thanks for watching